Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today I want to talk to you about how a book got me sober after 30 years of drinking. So trigger warning before I start, uh, this video is going to be a somewhat more personal one than my videos normally are and we'll touch on alcoholism. Um, so today marks two years of sobriety for me. So I have not had an alcoholic drink for two years, um, which for many people, you know, may not be that big a deal. But for me, it was definitely a big deal, it is definitely a big deal. Um, so I started drinking alcohol, as many people do, as, as a teenager. Uh, I'm, I'm 50 now, so, you know, I was drinking for over 30 years. Um, and those 30 years, the pattern of my drinking, you know, gradually changed over that time. But from, from fairly early on, from, from the time I was at university, really, I was, you know, I was definitely a regular drinker. So I was drinking, you know, most nights and, and that, you know, continued throughout my adult life. So um, I did at a few times have breaks from my drinking and, and you know, went a few weeks or, or months even without drinking. But generally speaking, you know, for that for that 30 years, um, I drunk most nights, not every night, but most nights. Um, and often, more often than not, probably by the time I went to bed, um, I was, you know, I was definitely intoxicated. So that is something that is not good. That is something that's not good for you. And I was aware um, and had been aware for a long time that it wasn't good for me. And I tried to give up alcohol, you know, a few times over the years. Um, in particular, when uh, I, I, the doctor did some blood tests and told me that my liver was definitely not in a good shape. Um, but I was able, I think, to rationalise my drinking as something that, you know, that wasn't affecting my home life, wasn't affecting my work life. I was still able to function, you know, completely normally. I might be a bit tired in the morning, but aside from that, um, you know, there was, it felt to me like there wasn't really a downside to my drinking. I wasn't particularly feeling physical effects. Um, and as I say, I was able to, to continue, you know, leading a normal and productive life. But I knew that, you know, I knew deep down that I was drinking too much. And, and it probably reached a peak during lockdown when partly because um, of the fact that we were, you know, we were getting our, our shopping delivered, I knew exactly how much alcohol was, was coming into the house. And I worked out at one point that I was drinking 100 units of alcohol a week. Now, I don't know if units of alcohol are um, you know un uh, like universally recognised around in different countries, or if it's just a UK thing? But uh, I think the recommended daily intake or recommended weekly amount of units of alcohol you should have in the UK, I think, is about kind of fifteen to seventeen, something like that. Um, so I was drinking a hundred. So I was drinking far more than is is healthy to. And as I say, I had I had been trying to, you know, I had tried a few times over the years to give up. And had never managed to. And it was a book that finally gave me what I needed. And I can't even describe what, what that thing I needed was. But it was a book that gave me what I needed to give up. So I wanted to talk today about that book in the hope that, you know, there may be other people out there going through something similar to what I was going through. Um, and that book might help, may help them. And to give you an, an indication of the the change that, that the improvement that not drinking has has given my life. I'm I'm definitely a lot healthier than I was before. I'm, my mood is better, so I'm you know I'm happier, uh, and I think have a you know a better. I, I have more energy, and I'm better able to just go about my life. So so whereas I thought when I was drinking that it wasn't having an impact, actually now that I'm not drinking, I realise the impact that it was having. Um, I was, you know, it was it was something that I was able to rationalise at the time and, and, you know, play down as not a problem. But actually, it was a problem. And probably the biggest thing, aside from just a general sense of, of well-being, the biggest thing that has come out of stopping drinking for me, and I have said this on the channel before, is this channel. So I started this channel, I think, within a month or two of giving up drinking. And there is no way I would have had the energy or the time to run the channel 
um, if I'd still been drinking. It just would not have been possible because particularly at the weekend, you know, I would often start drinking, you know, kind of mid-afternoon and I would continue drinking until I went to bed. Um, so there was just no way I could have I could have managed a channel on top of that. So anyway, enough preamble. Let me tell you about the book. I really do recommend it if you're someone who feels that that you're struggling with drinking or even if you're someone who doesn't, even if you're someone who drinks but doesn't think they're struggling with drinking, this is a really interesting book and you may find it eye-opening. So the book is called Alcohol Explained and it's by an author called William Porter. Now William Porter is, is not like a doctor or a scientist or anything like that, but he is someone whose drinking pattern, should we say, was similar to mine. So he was someone who, who lived a you know a normal life but who drank a lot. Um, and who, you know, consistently over a long period of time had been a, a heavy drinker. And the hypothesis of, of his book, really, or the, the point of his book is to explain the physiological effects that alcohol has on the human body, particularly in people who consume it a lot and have consumed it a lot over a you know, long period of time, as, as I have and, and he had. And basically what he says is this, alcohol is effectively a sedative it's like a tranquilizer you know when you have a drink you feel calmer you feel more relaxed everything just kind of you know just slows down a bit doesn't it and you you know we all know anyone who's ever drink who has ever drunk knows that feeling of you know as you as you sip your first beer or your first glass of wine or something like that you instantly feel more relaxed so what porter says in his book is that's a you know that's an artificial relaxant for your body and clearly it is it's something external that you're taking into your body to relax so it's an artificial thing from outside the body that you're taking in and your body reacts to it your body goes hold on a minute all of a sudden i feel relaxed what the hell's going on why am i feeling relaxed and what your body does is produce a stimulant to counteract the the sedative that you're taking in and if it didn't do that you'd probably just fall <laughs> you'd probably just fall asleep and, and you know some of us will know the experience of, of dozing off on the sofa after after a few drinks on a sunday afternoon um so you, your body produces this stimulant to counteract the effects of the alcohol so you still get some you still get kind of the warm glow of of having had a drink but it doesn't completely sedate you in the same way as it would if your body didn't produce the stimulant so that's kind of the basics of what's happening. Now, what happens over time, if you are, as I was, a heavy, a heavy habitual drinker, is that your body gets used to this kind of cycle. So it gets used to the fact that you have a drink, it recognises it needs to produce this stimulant to counter, counteract the effects of the alcohol, and it does that. And what it does over time is it gets very efficient at doing that, and it starts to predict when you have that first drink it knows from experience that you're going to keep on drinking um, and so it starts producing this stimulant in anticipation of the drinks you haven't had yet and what that makes you do as soon as you stop doing drinking is feel anxious and that is something that as a drinker I definitely definitely recognized as soon as I read that in the book it just clicked with me and made perfect sense so I knew when I was drinking, and I had come to recognise this in myself over time, I knew if I didn't have a drink at all, I could get to the end of the day without drinking. Yeah? But I knew as soon as I had that first drink, I would keep on drinking. Um, and I would usually keep on drinking until I went to bed. It, and indeed, I often found towards the end of the night, when I knew it was nearly time to go to bed, that my rate of drinking increased. So I would start drinking more. And people who, who drink a lot will know, and this is 100% something that happened to me, I would wake up in the middle of the night feeling anxious and feeling very awake all of a sudden. And what that is, William Porter says in his book, is that the alcohol's worn off, but the stimulants that your body has produced are still there. And, the, and the, the, you know, the stimulants and the alcohol are kind of constantly fighting against each other. And once your body has processed the alcohol and it's worn off, the stimulants start winning and you wake up in the middle of the night feeling a bit shaky. Um, so yeah, the, the, as you drink, your body produces a stimulant. Your body starts to produce stimulant in anticipation of the drinks you haven't had. And, and you, you start to learn that as soon as you stop drinking, you will start to feel anxious. So you drink more. 
So it becomes a vicious cycle. And that is definitely what was happening to me. And it's the, the clarity of that knowledge um, that I gained from the book that gave me whatever it was I needed, just that extra little nudge to stop drinking. And as I say, I've now been 100% sober for two years to today. Today is my, my second anniversary of sobriety. And it has made an enormous improvement to my life. So I'm not, you know, I'm by no means preaching that, you know, nobody should drink, that, you know, that anyone who has a drink has a problem. Um, but some of us definitely do, and I definitely did. And that book helped me to, to realise that and to crystallise my thinking around it. And as I say, to give me the strength to give up. Um, so if you're someone who feels like they struggle with alcohol, who sometimes feels like they can't stop drinking, then I definitely recommend checking that book out. I'll leave a link to it in the description for the video. Uh, and hopefully it will be uh, as useful for you as it was for me. So yeah, I hope you found that interesting. As I said at the start, slightly different kind of content from me today and a bit more personal than usual, but it is book related and does show the, the power of books. So yeah, I hope you found it, uh, hope you found it interesting and useful. Um, do read that book um, if you feel like you are in a similar situation to the one that I was in. Um, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're reading good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.